Ricky D. Ray with KLBK's first warning weather. The winter storm is already impacting majority of the South Plains and we want to make sure you and your family continue to stay safe. Now this is a live look thanks to our TxDOT cameras and we want you to know that TxDOT is out there working in full force all across the region. Now of course they're freezing up on us because it is so cold out there, but the roadways are slushy. A lot of the people that work at the station had to leave during the break and they came back. They said they were driving around 30 miles per hour in zones that are usually 50 to 55 and we want you to do the same. And if you do not have to be out doors or you're traveling anywhere, stay home, be safe, be smart about the circumstances. Not only are we dealing with slushy roads and more snow to come our way, but also we've got a little bit of fog in the air. Visibilities right around one and a three quarters of a mile in the city, three quarters up towards Plainview, just a quarter of a mile in Amarillo. So you've got several things that are impacting the weather all across the South Plains that are hazardous to be out on the roads. Now, as far as your warnings and watches are concerned, we do have a winter storm warning in effect that is highlighted in the pink. Majority of us will continue this until Friday at midnight. Then you head further off into the rolling plains where we do have a winter storm watch highlighted in the periwinkle that is going to continue until Friday at midnight. But just because it is a watch does not mean you're not going to be impacted. Majority of us will continue to be dealing with this storm system. Earlier on, we told you it was going to start out with rain and then it was going to begin to get to a little bit of a slush and then the snow and that's exactly what happened. We've been dealing with snow for quite some time over in the Plainview now as well as in the Hub City. Clovis, the schools as well as the community college is canceled for tomorrow. That's the same for Laz Buddy as well and we anticipate many more closings and cancellations to happen across the South Plains. Now I'm not in charge of it so don't be upset with me if you still have to go to school tomorrow but I want you to be safe on those roadways. Getting a little closer view, Plainview as well as into Olton, Littlefield, Dealing with quite a bit of snowfall right now, as well as into Abernathy. And then you know what that means up and along I-27. Very dangerous conditions. Roadways are slick, but it's not just the main roads. We want you to remember it's the ones in your backyard. It's the ones even just walking to the mailbox. I fell last time we had snow and I know many of you did at home. We want you to be careful because usually those type ac accidents happen very close to home. Now, New Deal, we're seeing quite a bit of that snowfall, shallow water, but in the Hub City, check it out in the central zones. You'll notice it's kind of giving you a little bit of green and a lot of people think, OK, well, it's not showing up as snow, so are we seeing it? Are we not? Well, actually, you're seeing it. The radar is just having a very difficult time distinguishing if it is snow, ice, or even if it is that rainfall. But we know as a fact, thanks to you wonderful viewers, that it is snowfall. And take a look at these snowflakes. They're around the size of a quarter. We're dealing with beautiful snowflakes across the South Plains, but large ones mean more snow. And of course, that tends to give us hazard conditions. So a big thank you to Raymond for sending this in. This is at the 5800 block of County Road 1200. And then take a look at this one. This is over in Woolworth. I mean, you can really see those large snowflakes beginning to fall across the region. I love the little sister Peyton said, I like the puffy snow and a lot of us do too because it's something we don't always see across the South Plains, but this time we have been blessed to see it. But that was in Woolforth and see this is the current look of what we are seeing in Woolforth. It looks as if that we are just dealing with rainfall. On the other hand, we are not. It is actually snowfall and the radar is just having a little bit of trouble distinguishing. Thankfully, we've got eyes and ears all across the West Texas region helping us out. Now, Here's a catch. We've got a dry slot right along the Texas New Mexico state line. So a lot of us are actually going to deal with some drier conditions for a few hours. However, that is not anticipated to last for long because we are going to see some wrapping around this low pressure system causing us to see more snow as we head into the overnight hours. Here's what we're looking at. Overnight, we are going to see that dry slot taking place, but more snowfall will continue to fall overnight hours further into early tomorrow, and it will be patchy at times. Nevertheless, temperatures are going to be low, and it's all going to stick to the surface, so we want to make sure we continue to be careful not only into early Thursday, but also Thursday evening. Now, by the time we hit Friday, we clear out, we dry out, and we even warm up, which is a great thing, but things will begin to refreeze. As far as accumulations, we're looking to see over three and a half inches in the city, four up in the city of Plainview, over five and a half in Clovis, Tucumcari looking to be close to seven. Now, model runs, they tend to not always agree, but this time around, very close in the way of how much they are estimating, and thus far it has shown to be true. We've got to keep in consideration that dry slot, but of course we are looking for numbers to be three to eight inches up towards the north and western zones. Three to six, that does include Plainview as well as into the Hub City, Higginbotham. We are looking to see quite a bit of snow further off into the rolling plains. Those numbers will be slightly lower, one to three inches, and then around a trace to an inch further off towards the east. Tomorrow temperatures, not going to see too large of a difference. We're going to be 28 degrees for your low, 30 by 
by the afternoon. Please be careful. Roads will deteriorate the further we head into the afternoon. We're going to be dealing with blowing snow thanks to those winds around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Sustained gust closer to 30 to 35. 18 degrees by Friday thanks to that clearing. 39 by the afternoon. And then you head to the weekend and it looks like none of this ever happened. We're talking about the 60s, but we really want you to be careful across the region. A lot of things are sticking to the surface. We're going to have all the cancellations and any delays that will be posted on everythinglubbock.com. But remember, we need your help to get all that information in. You are the eyes and ears. We'll also have it running across on the bottom yes, of your screen. So. And if you haven't missed uh, Plain View, New Deal, some of the two hour delays, mm -hmm. uh, Abernathy, Amherst, Floyd Ada starting at 10 o'clock. But like you guys said, right there on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, you got it right. Thanks a lot, Nikki. All right, still more news to come here on